that those of us that think that we lack common sense we don't know how to walk that's why i say it is not easy you have to pass through his steps and it is a difficult terrain why don't you use your common sense and take the corner so that you can get to the same place it is because we lack we lack understanding we are not wise that's why we are walking the way of the cross that's why we are walking through difficult terrain that's why that we refuse to compromise our stand. That's why challenges of life. That's why persecution. That's why suffering. They will say that we are old school. That we don't know what we are saying. I pity this generation of, Christian, of, of, of the Christians. The Bible said this is what we are calling to. Jesus Christ suffer. Let's tell ourselves the truth. Let's tell our generation the truth. Yes, we believe God will prosper us. He will give us car. He will give us houses. He will give us wives. He give, but if he does not give us, what do you do? If you pray and your prayers are not answered, and you have been praying that prayer for five years, for ten years, and they are not answered, what else are you going to do? It is not all your prayers that will be answered in this world before you get to heaven. The ones that are answered, we give him praise. The one that is not answered, we give him praise. Because we believe that he has our interests at heart. He said, that song says, a better day is coming. When we are home in glory, we will rest in perfect peace over there. There may not be perfect peace here. But when we get the glory, no more suffering no more temptations no more trials no more difficulties will rest in perfect peace there but before you get there and you have to pass through the way of the cross why are you dodging the way of the cross when he has said this is what we are called into and jesus himself said you must carry your cross daily and follow me what else do you do you don't understand why is it that it is the miracle aspect is the prosperity aspect of the bible you like to read why is it the way jesus said you must carry your cross you must this and that that you shall be hate of all men for my name's sake don't you read it in your bible so when people hate you now why are you now going to from one thing to the other and say god all my people that hate me god let them die let them die let them die let them die they hate you yes if god wants to judge them we will judge them you understand something now you can pray god fight my battle is that not so somebody hearing me this morning you can say god fight my battle god deliver me from you know this and that you can pray all those prayers but let us leave the answer into the hands of god how you want to answer it because sometimes god will allow you to pass through fire and because if you don't pass through fire you will not be refined shout hallelujah somebody <laughs> you will not come out as gold you are not going to shine there are some of us today if God hands our prayer and make us millionaire pride will kill you if God turns things around and you have car you have this and you and God bless you you will be lost forever because there are so many things in our lives that is against the life of Christ. And so, if we allow us to suffer, it will allow us to pass through difficult terrain to purge us, to cleanse us so that we will be humble. Shout hallelujah. Praise God. I was praying that it was where I said, I was just, at the time, when I pray, I just said, God, you know, if you bless me. You know I won't change my mind. Praise God. If I'm prosper, pros if I have prosper, I'm prosper already. Don't misunderstand what I'm saying. But I'm saying that God just increase me with the goods, things of this way. It does not change my person. It doesn't make me to begin to ride upon people's head. 
God has dealt with all those things in my life. I am I know of it. I have no reason to be proud. I understand the journey I passed. I was listening to uh, Sister Mary Ogu when she was preaching this morning. You know, I was hearing some of our stories, you know, for the first time. You didn't know I hear always say a message. I was saying that, look, that uh, uh, what did you say you sell? Say you sold. He said, go, he said, make me make, make Gary to sponsor ourselves to school. You mentioned something before even Gary. I dream, you know, there is a way to go and carry concrete wherever they are building house in order to feed ourselves, in order to be able to go to school. And when she was in the school again, she has to go to farm to go and help learn how to do, how to do Gary, sell the Gary to sponsor herself. But her story has changed today. If you don't tell you a story, you will not know a story. That's why I said, behind every glory, there is a story. You think that everybody I know, I me, mean, I cannot. Me, I know, go suffer. I know, go beg for bread. Where did you get that one from? He said, you, we, we are calling to suffering when it takes, to, when there is a need to suffer. Yes, me, I know, go suffer. You are telling lies. I know go back for bread. That is true. David said, once I was young, now I'm old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken. No, he said begging for bread. Because in first for you to beg for bread, you will wait. Praise the Lord. You are not going to sell your integrity. Because begging for bread will make you to go and beg bread in the hands of your enemy. We make them to introduce what is not to you that is going to capture your life. And so because of that, you will take it and say, okay, if there is no food, God, so be it. I know that you have not forgotten me. If you are turning into fighter fasting by fire by force, you are there. And anything you can take, you will take. Praise God. And believe that the best, better days are ahead of me. Shout hallelujah. He said that we should follow in his steps so this month begin to look at things in all these areas of following the steps of jesus let's see if i can see pick one or two scriptures um look at proverbs chapter 16 verse 9 proverbs 16 verse 9 a man's heart devised his way but the lord directed what his steps if you look at modern modern translation he said a man's art is pushing him you know that's what was every way of a man is right in his own eyes take it again the heart of man does what plans his way God establish his steps in his own steps. Every man has plans. No, there is nothing wrong to have plans. But when you plan and it seems your plan, you do everything to that plan, it's not working out. Don't be discouraged. Because there is a way God wants you to take. <laughs> Praise God. We always want our plan the way we plan it, let it just work out. And if it doesn't work, then we say, you see yourself now. And discouragement will come. What? Why? You, why? You have been discouraged. Why don't you believe that my life is in his hands? He knows the way that I, I walk. My life is in his hands. There is his steps. If we are going to make it to heaven, we must walk in his steps. If we are going to have godly prosperity all right prosperity with godliness all right we must walk where in the steps you can begin to do business of cigar and business of uh, uh, alcohol and you say that yeah god is prospering me you can begin to do all those all sorts of things illegality you know dealing in contraband goods that the government says no to and you say yeah, god is prospering me some people that come to church, you know, so many churches to go and give testimony, they will not tell us the path they, 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 they follow. And somebody comes and says, Praise God. You see, I just won 500 million or 300 million contract. He will not tell us what he did. 
that the contract that he said is this 500 million or 200 million or 300 million contract he will not tell us that they have he sold money out of that 300 million it may be 100 million they have put money into it that is going to you to set to people and use 100 million to, do you understand what I'm saying now? and I say well that's where everybody is doing it Eh? that is where everybody is that's why you are killing the country that's why you are killing the oppressed you don't know that every shady deal you do to steal our commonwealth you are killing widows you are killing the fatherless you are killing the poor outside there you are help, you know killing the helpless everything that you do that is illegal you think that hey, after all they want their money i give it to them no that money is our common heritage and it could have been used for better things, but now it is in the post pocket of some people, including you. And somebody said, then, how can we get contract? How can we this and that? If you apply for the contract and they give you condition, tell, you, tell them, I'm a child of God, I will not go that way. If that job is for you, God will give it to you. Is that not so? God knows how to do it. But if because we are godly, we are children of God, that's why we are going to suffer, you know, some things, it is better we suffer here and we gain in eternity. Praise God. Answer me, praise the Lord. After what the Bible says, having food and what? Raiment. Let us be what? Be contented. House is not there. Car is not there. <laughs> praise the Lord. But that God can feed you. If God can solve the problem of, of food, you know, you are praying to that person. No, food is not my problem. Ooh, praise God for you. Before you get that to that problem, it may be a problem. Oh, but when God solves that problem and says food is not a problem, and you can appear good, hallelujah, then you are a journey, you are in a journey to a good life. Others will come. But anything that wants to make you to amass wealth to have abundance and you are compromising and you are part of corrupt people and you come here and say our governments are corrupt our governments are corrupt are you not corrupt are you not part of them because you don't want to follow the full steps of jesus i know so many people will hear this message some of you online you hear this message and say it's an old school message the man is not is not enlightened uh, it's not any enlightenment about uh, outside the scriptures and Jesus is coming Jesus is coming and if Jesus has not come death is coming <laughs> you know some of you say death will come and if your life is vulnerable if you are in sin it is easy for Satan to kill you that is the danger Ah, uh, Jesus is coming. We don't know. Ah, uh, we don't know when he shall come. Uh, they have been saying it a long time. Okay, that's all right. But it will come one day. But one day you will close your eyes. You will not be able to open it. Where will you spend your eternity? When you close your eyes, where will you open it? Some of the things you are struggling with, eh, this and that, don't corrupt the world, eh, this and that, don't tell lies, eh, don't commit fornication, don't commit this, don't go and do that, eh, do that, this and that. You know, as a woman, don't contribute to all the negativity in the society, dress very well, cover your nakedness, don't be a source of temptation to others, all this and this and that. Now, and something is fighting it inside of you. Something is saying, that is still too difficult. Eh, nobody can control me. Eh, this and that. Oh, nobody will control you. you are your savvy because you don't walk in his steps you don't want to walk in his steps now one day if you die and you now meet this savior that you refuse to walk in his steps face to face what will you tell him oh i did not hear every mass amount you have ever had is recorded in heaven it will be played for you every opportunity to change will be played for you because god is a righteous church everything will play you see like a panorama how oh, you are here you are not born again you have not given your life to jesus you will hear about it every day confess your sins accept jesus into your life it is just as if that we are telling stories because you still want to you want to hammer you want to hammer you want to hammer you want to hit it you want to hammer 
when you now hammer and you die shout hallelujah but because it is evil it is wrong thing that our society celebrates you have the money nobody wants to ask where do you make that money from you become chairman eh? all the area boys say chairman 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 that's on hand time to head because you have money call you chairman amen somebody died maybe through life somebody who takes drug who did that died i said this somewhere somebody who's like who was uh, who, who when he was singing in the choir when he step, stepped out he was being called a money later he say he's bad um bad that's the meaning of his name mobad um bad abi he's now living that kind of life and all those things change his friendship change his people and he died at 27 the national assembly can remember to remember him having the one minute silence what are the pastors that have died by in the hands of Boko Haram? what are the people that have been killed you know preaching the gospel what are the people that i don't know that was society what are the big thing, terrible things that are happened to some people and what about evil good things that our government never recognized they will say somebody has all A's. How many of them are invited to National Assembly to be celebrated? How many people, the best doctors, we talk about it at that time, you know, a Nigerian American, you know, who is a doctor, is a doctor. I don't know how to, you know, explain it, but it's, I mean, in the medical times, is a doctor of heart surgery. Not that alone, also, is a doctor that can operate on kidney. They said nobody asked, you know, how that fits. It's either you stay on one lane, but somebody was able to do that. Somebody was able to bring a baby, a fetus, a fetus, fetus, maybe a few weeks, brought it out of the baby and performed operation on that baby. T.O.T. Domotan. And perform operation and put it back in the mother's womb until the baby came to term. Did our country invite that person to be celebrated? No! Nollywood! Nollywood! People dress nakedly. People are corrupting our young ladies who are corrupting the society. Are they are not the people you are, you are, you are I mean, you are, you are also following their steps in the way you dress. If you don't so dress now, that you will leave one shoulder. One shoulder will come here. Eh? I don't know what they call it. It will be here another one here fashion off shoulder <laughs> fashion so your head is not correct to the extent to know that that is not proper way to dress but because the so-called celebrities they wear that kind of dress and you want to be like them also and you are doing that even some of them maybe they even wear that dress when they are going for one show or the other or on set and those are the people the steps you are following, not the steps of Jesus. And we talk, t -t 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 -t, you don't listen. In those days, the way we are raised, ah, I remember, you know, that they will tell you if you are a tailor, you call it fashion designer now. If you are a tailor, somebody says you come and sew the dress of an of an alert. You say, I'm not sewing. Hello? That is how serious it was then. And say, hey, oh yeah, let me cut it like this. Let me cut it like this. And we show her the forward. This and say, I'm so I'm sorry, with my tailor. I know they sue that kind of dress. But you will say, No, ah, is that money is going to pay? Ah, don't worry. One song says, I dream. About great judgment morning has come and the trumpet has blown. I dream that the nations are gathered to judge them before the white throne. From the throne came a bright shining angel. And stand on the land and the sea. That's what we read in the Revelation. And swore to the heavens 
that the time shall no longer will be. We have read in the Revelation. Oh, what a wailing and wailing, weeping and wailing, as the lost were shown of their fate. They cry to the rock and the mountain. They pray, but their prayer was too late. The more a man was there, the more a man came to the judgment. But his righteous rags, righteous rags, will not do. The man who has crucified Jesus, they came also to the judgment room. And the souls, and the souls who put off salvation. Not tonight, it's not ready. By and by, but that day they are ready, they, they are ready to come to the judgment. Said the drunkards also came to judgment, and those who sell them their drinks. And those those who give them the drinks. They also came to judgment. We are talking about any steps. There are so many things we are to learn. Oh, maybe you want to run away from the church. This church it's too hard. We want to go to heaven. Are you still going? Are you ready to go? We must walk in the steps. Because eh, Jesus is coming. It has not come. If you die, you come. He's, he's, he's any chief to die. It is this. We are praying God protect us. God keep us. Well, to death of 40 years. People are still dying. If you don't have the assurance of heaven, if you are not certain that if the trumpet sound, you will make it to heaven, it's because you refuse to walk in his steps. To walk in his steps is to walk according to his words. To follow the pattern of Jesus. But one thing is certain. If you serve him, you'll be glorified. He said, nobody left family, left everything and, and follow me. He said, he will gain it both in this world and where? In the world to come. But in his own way. Your lifting must be in his own way. Your promotion must be in his own way. Your prosperity must be in his own way. If you hold on to him. If you walk in his steps. What are we saying this morning? We are called to walk in his steps. Oh, you are doing secret sin. Nobody sees you, but he sees you. Whatever you are doing, and nobody sees you. Everybody, nobody sees you. But God sees you. Some people today offense. They will just be offended. I'm not going to that church again. I don't even like somebody. Can you come? Can you come? Ask up to get. <clears throat> if you decide to keep grudge against somebody, and that's how you walk away from where you are hearing the truth, and you now go to a place where they celebrate lies, and you are hooked there. That's why this church, in this ministry, we have never put a rope on, on anybody when it comes to money. Have we? Have we put a rope on anybody? <laughs> praise do you think we don't need money do you think we don't spend money but those who have the revelation some people don't pay tithe they don't pay up mm, that is not my problem if you don't follow, follow some condition that is your problem but let's start of course when we walk in this step we will be everything that he commands us to do so we are reading the book of revelation and we're talking about in his step we are in the end time some of those things you begin to read you begin to interpret for you all right is to make you to understand that god has not changed his mind one of the churches the church in sardis you know what jesus said about them and whatever he's saying to each other he said whatever only let i know he said well let every everyone that have here let him hear what the spirit said unto the church you are the church you are the one he's talking about at times you say what i say to all i say unto you watch that 
church that could be you a person or could be a congregation Jesus said look at them what did they say they have a name that they are alive he said but you are dead you have a name that you are alive but you are dead you are not careful to go to some churches today you think ah, this is a beautiful name it's a dead church well, I'm not saying that they are not that they don't have the things of this world but it is a place your soul will be lost because they will not say the truth and Jesus looked at that church the reason church just immediately after the time of the apostles the early church the church that's supposed to be on fire they, those who are on fire are, they were there but the general uh, thing that Jesus could say judgment of Jesus God the church he said you have a name that you are alive but you are dead somebody can come to church but you are dead somebody can answer and say I'm praying now we do money devotion but you are a dead person because what Jesus called us into to walk in his steps you are not ready you want the easy road but it's not an easy road those are the songs of 70s songs of 80s and it continue to wake up Christians you see it in cassette and things like that or whatever cassette we call it then now people will wake you up Any balero we pay, O Muti Duro, Oki Sara, O Komamba Shubu, Igbae Wutu de de O Jesu Ferre de Iwa Toturo Loshora, O Loshora, Masun Bagbe, O Loru Lucy Fandode, Satan in Dode. Let's rise up to pray. In his steps, are you already stepping out of his steps? As you see, keeping track with Jesus, all the challenges of life are taking you away from Christ. You want to make it in your own way? <laughs> no. It has to be in the steps. If you started compromising, you just complain eh, this and that because of, you complain about money. You complain about this. If you are passing through your own fire that can make you to be refined, why don't you submit yourself and trust God? But yet, in that time, you must keep on serving God. If it is to trek, you trek to church. Prayer meeting, you are there. VG, you are there. You know that you have no alternative because we must walk in the steps. If you are here this morning, want me to pray with you, want to rededicate your life, or you have to repent of your sin, please join me at the altar. Very quickly. Very quickly, join me at the altar. It's not a matter of uh, closing eyes, no close eyes you know that you are far away you have stray away but you want to tell God and say God ah, I must not die like this I don't want to go to hell Lord I don't want to go to hell are you still standing there if you want to join this altar join now you want to dedicate your life to Jesus don't deceive yourself <laughs> he knows you he knows you you are not serious about Christ though you come to church no that's not the issue you pay tithe you pay offering are you sure your name is still in the book of life are you sure your name is there are you sure you are really born again and if you are born again is the world not taking you away are you walking in steps maybe you are now compromising so that they can promote you in the place of work you are selling your body in order to gain benefits from man there are hidden things that you do nobody you don't want anybody to know but jesus christ is it can we talk to god as you are here for those of you who want to rededicate your life tell the lord god i surrender today unto you if it is a secret sin what you are doing this evening nobody knows the compromises the little little forces that spoil the vine nobody sees you but god sees you 
can pray today and say God have mercy have mercy upon my life cry unto God yourself but you want to join these people join now Jesus is coming Jesus is coming we must surrender to him if you want to join the altar join and say Lord Jesus here is my life and whatever you want to repent us God I surrender you know you have gone cold you have gone cold but the Lord is here to show us mercy Lord I come to the altar Lord I dedicate my life I still give you a few minutes as many I want to join I'm going to kneel down at the altar and pray also but as you are praying today let it be that God where you have find me out this morning I will not go back into it again that I repent with all my heart the Lord is saying some people are still there I don't know who are you looking at but God wants us to walk in his steps you have started compromising Jesus is coming please tell the Lord Jesus I surrender my life unto you there are some things you do you, 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 if you, some people they love the praise of men hey you are doing well you are looking good you are wearing what God is angry with and people say you are, you are looking good and who are the people say you are looking good sinners people are not born again they are the one praising you and say ah yeah they said that style is good that style is good that style is good how many born again who are the spirit of God who want to tell you the truth and say your appearance is good let's surrender to Jesus let's dedicate our lives let's say God I give you my life Lord help me oh God can we pray and say God rekind you fresh fire into my life rekind you fresh fire into my life I want fresh fire in my life all the anger all the misbehavior all the immorality all the pollutions Jesus today oh God take it away from my life I surrender it oh God make me a new creation ask for the blood of Jesus to sanctify you to cleanse you Jesus I surrender all to him I freely give I will ever love and trust him in his presence daily I surrender Mr. Lord God are from today may I walk in your presence as you reveal your words to me help me to walk in your steps anything that you are passing through it is part of the journey that's what you are saying oh I don't have money I don't have job it is part of the experience devil want to tempt you but Jesus said he suffered we must pass through the same experience but which one are you passing through that is taking away from Christ? Because husband is not coming, because wife is not coming, because you know something is not coming that you are believing God for, and you are now disconnected from God. Because of traveling abroad, you are disconnected from God. Ah, so your relationship with Jesus can be bought with the mundane things of this life. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I am on my knees with my brethren that have come to the altar. 
they have come because you have spoken to their hearts either those who are not born again they want to give their life to Jesus for the first time or those who are Christian but they discover that their love is becoming cold or those that you are telling this is not good but they will do this top only wear that dress top only speak that language top only going that way or those Lord Jehovah God that are involved in secret sins nobody sees it but Lord you see but you are giving us an opportunity for repentance today Father we come to the altar we are Lord that you will forgive us on behalf of this people Lord forgive us of every uncleanliness of every impurity of every disobedience Father have mercy in the name of Jesus Christ we are that the blood of Jesus will sanctify everyone. Whatever anybody is struggling with, Lord, we receive victory of the cross to break every yoke in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever anybody has walked away from the right path, Lord, I pray that everybody shall be all reordered into the steps of Christ in the name of Jesus. Some people have forsaken their first love. Some of you are not like this. You are on fire before. Why are you on campus? Why are you outside the campus? You are there all out. But there are some of you that having job now has made you to become cold. Some having marriage. Marriage has turned you to something else. I pray God as we bring every heart Lord to, to the place of the cross. Let every heart oh God receive a fresh touch. Let the blood cleanse every life. Let there be sanctification. Let there be ignition of fresh fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, I pray for the old church. God, I pray. Even those who are standing there, God, there are things that, Lord, they are struggling with in their hearts. There are things that shows that if Jesus come today, many are not going. Or if they are dead today, oh Lord, it is just straight to hellfire. And the Bible is true. And the book of Revelation that we are reading is telling us. It is prophecy. Say the love of many shall wax cold. I pray, oh God, for revival. In every heart, in the name of Jesus. Revival in every life, in the name of Jesus. Revival in every marriage, in the name of Jesus. Let your hand be upon every one of us. Let this church receive the touch of fire. As many that are watching us online, Lord, let them receive the touch of fire. That we shall not be like the church in Sardis. That the church in Sardis, they have a name that they are alive, but they are dead. There are people who go to church, they sing in the choir, they do things in the choir, they are ushers, they are even preachers. They go to church, they know them in the church, they applaud them in the church. But just like the church in Sardis, but when you look at them, they are dead spiritually. I pray for as many that are dead or that are dying gradually things are shutting down in their spiritual life let there be a revival let the power that raised Jesus from the dead raise everybody up in the name of Jesus I receive grace for everyone the times of our trial times of our temptation times of our suffering we receive grace grace to stand grace to obey grace to follow through and I pray for as many that God you have tried and of course they are they are past the test let the time of rest the lime time of lifting begin to manifest in their lives thank you father glory be to the name of the Lord in Jesus mighty name we are prayed amen hallelujah let's take this closing hymn then after that um, we we'll have just one or two uh, to corroborate the announcement. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. Is that not the closing name? You must stand up for Jesus from today. Be an example of light. Say the truth.
Oh.